Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me for this 10 cards, 1 kit video featuring Love from Lizzie's September 2017 card kit. This card kit is a super kit. It's chock full of all kinds of goodies and it celebrates the one year anniversary of Love from Lizzie. So let's look at card number one. With this card, I heat embossed the flower flourish image found in the exclusive Love from Lizzie stamp set that was in the kit over the top panel. I used white embossing powder and I made sure to leave a diagonal strip covered with post-it note tape so that I didn't complete the full panel. I used various shades of the same color of the Zig clean color real brush marker and I move that ink around with an aqua or water brush. I then applied the background with a blue gray zig clean color real brush marker making sure to get in all the little nooks and crannies of the flower petals and leaves paying particular attention to make sure that I hugged right up against that embossing powder with the marker. The aqua brush was used here too, paying particular attention to make sure that the same amount of ink was dispersed over the whole top panel. I set this to dry and then worked on the inside panel. I heat embossed just one impression of the same stamp with white embossing powder. I used the zig markers on the inside as well, although I didn't use as many shades of the green, violet, or yellow markers and I use the aqua brush on this image as well. Once the top panel was dry I removed the post-it tape and trimmed this panel down so that I now have two sections. I wanted a border around these two sections so I applied the designer paper found in the kit on each of the pieces. I adhere these with a good strong glue and then applied a fun foam, gray fun foam below or underneath these panels so that I would give it dimension when I laid it on the card base. I placed these on cardstock that was in the kit on a top panel and then I worked on the sentiment. I heat embossed this also with white embossing powder. I trimmed it down so that it was just a strip wide enough to accommodate the letters. I attached the inside panel and then I adhere the top panel. Securing the sentiment, I use Nouveau crystal drops on top of a purple sequence 
in the center of the flower for some glitz. And that's card number one. Card number two. Using the wreath image from the stamp set, I stamped it with grey archival ink onto a piece of mirror card. I heat embossed it with clear embossing powder, and then I cut it out with an oval die. I stamped this and embossed it because I wanted the embossed image to be a guide for when I laid the cording because I wanted to convert this into a grapevine wreath mirror. I applied cord directly to the embossing powder with a good strong glue, wrapping it around a few times, paying particular attention to where it was crossed over on the stamped image. I made little twists and curls and nodules with the cord and attached them with the same glue. It's glossy effects, I believe. I wanted to keep the shine because of the shine of the background mirror board. I cut two pieces of designer paper or pattern paper and apply them to the top and the bottom to the front panel. This green cardstock was included in the kit. Attaching the cardstock front panel onto a white panel. I then used a watermark ink and stamp the flower floral image all over the background. I attach the mirror on a slant so I have one piece of foam at the top and it's just attached with glue on the bottom. I stamped the saying or sentiment from the stamp says that says you go get it so your image would be in the mirror and then the sentiment would be below it. Hoping that this looked like a wall. Wanted to make sure that bottom was on there nice and secure. And then I'm gluing this panel to the card base. And that's card number two. Here's a closer look. Card 3 uses the die in the card kit. I thought I'd make a shaker card. So I took the shape that has a frame and then an inside portion. I applied a removable tape to the front with all of the pieces together. So the front panel and then the frame with the center in it. I applied adhesive to the back portion of the center and applied that onto the front of the card panel. Applying pressure to the center. And once I had that where I wanted it, I really gave it a good rub. And when you remove everything because of the detachable adhesive on the front, the image that you need to be in the center of your shaker card is placed exactly where you need it without too much hassle. I 
I applied the sequence that was a sequence part of the sequence mix that was included in the kit, as well as some really tiny pieces of glass balls of the same colors that were in the shimmer paper that was used to cut out the peacock dye. I applied a nice layer of foam tape around the image removing the backing and then applying the acetate. There's so much static in the acetate that it pulls up a few of the sequins, but I take them off of the back of the acetate and deposit the back into the nice little area that I made with the foam tape. Give it a good press and a shake and all the bits are working. Now I'm applying the frame with a pair of tweezers for precision placement. I'm going to give that a good press so the adhesive sticks. I then applied the same foam strips all along the portions of the card front that were not equal height. So, so when I applied the front panel everything was the same thickness. I cut out the word die celebrate which wasn't included in the kit. It was from my stash. I took the various shades of Distress Ink and Peacock Feathers, Mermaid Lagoon, and Blueprint Sketch, and just applied those to the word Celebrate from light to dark. I adhered three of them together and then finally applied the Distress Ink layer on top, giving them a nice firm press so that they're completely lined up and that everything's attached. I apply this to the top part of the shaker portion. I adhere the peacock die that was cut out of the high gloss paper. I use the Spectrum Noir Crystal Clear Overlay Sparkle Pen to glitz up the word celebrate covering the complete word. I had added some glass beads to decorate the peacock as well. I attach white ribbon and make a bow with ribbon from my stash. I also apply a strip of the same paper the peacock was cut out of along the strip of the front panel I attached the front panel to the card, and this card is now complete. On to card number four. I stamped a head stamp that was in my stash, and then the legs and feet of the same stamp set. I cut out a long strip of the spot gloss pattern paper that was included in the kit and I made some pleats attaching the lace that was also part of the kit along the bottom portion of the skirt. This is a stamp from this stamp set. It says she turned her cans into cans and her dreams into plans. I attached this to the inside of the card, adding a strip of the same high gloss paper to the inside. I attached a little top, some sequins, and made this girl can card. And this is a nice masculine birthday card, I think. I uh, cut a piece of the graphite shimmer paper for the front panel, cutting out 
the texturized paper that was from the kit in uh, two different sizes of hexagons. I laid them in strips down the front of the card making sure to um, have the tips line up but also that one strip was not like the strip beside it so they have variegated uh, uh, seams. I used the larger of the hexagons on the right side and the smaller on the left making sure to have those two smaller ones staggered. I cut off the portions that exceeded the front panel Having them run off the panel like this makes the eye run up and down the card. I attach the inside panel. I incorporated a strip of the same paper that was used on the front card to bring the pattern on the inside. I include a navy strip of cardstock that was included in the kit as well and then brought the graphite on top. I heat embossed the sentiment from my stash with black embossing powder. I attach that to the front of the card. Happiest of birthdays. I gave it a good crease at the top of this portrait card. And now we're on to the next card. The photographs don't really do this justice but I made a wrap-around card making sure to cut the cardstock in half and then remove the opposite angles. I then attach the spot gloss pattern paper to each side. I cut Happy Birthday out of white cardstock multiple times, layering them for dimension. I put a seal, a silver peel off, which are part of the kit, along the bottom of this panel. I use this Spectrum Noir crystal clear overlay pen, sparkle overlay pen, all over this happy birthday sentiment. I attached a ribbon to the top so it will be a pull. The recipient will know to pull this up. This portion fits into a, a little ledge within the card so a gift card or a private message can go behind it. and I'll show you how that works here. A silver peel off is on the top of that portion. The same ribbon that the pull was made out of which is from my stash also closes the card. I tied a bow 
in that, and there we are. Card number seven uses the textured paper. I applied the blue panel along with the textured paper and then applied the organza ribbon. I then attached a panel that had the blue cardstock with the texturized cardstock on top and attached those so that the ribbon ran down the center. of that top layer. I cut a strip of the texturized paper and attached that to the inside panel. I heat embossed wishing you joy with white embossing powder. And that's the card. Could be masculine or feminine. And now we're on to card eight. I attach the grape color shimmer paper to the front of the card. It says a fancier fold card. I then applied the designer paper over the top of the shimmer paper so we have a nice paneling effect, layered paneling. I had used Nouveau glue on that because you need a nice um, secure adhesive to attach to that. I brought the shimmer paper in to the inside panel along with this sentiment. I stamped grateful it was in my stash on a white panel and backed it with the sh shimmer paper. I brought the organza lace in along with the square buckle that was also in the kit and this card is finished. Card number nine, we bring back the peacocks again. The glossy paper was used to cut the peacock diode that was included in the kit twice. Green shimmer paper was cut to the full front panel size. A white panel was run through a paper crimper and then brayered with green ink to match the green shimmer paper. Making sure not to press too hard. The texturized paper was cut to allow for a border and green shimmer paper was attached to the back portion of this texturized paper on the top and bottom. I attached the crimp paper to the green shimmer paper with lots of strong adhesive. A piece of fun foam was attached to the texturized paper to allow for dimension on the front of the card. And this was attached on top of the crimp paper. The green shimmer paper was applied to the bottom of the inside panel, just a nice thin strip. The words dream big were cut out of the blue cardstock that was also from the kit. 
and apply to the inside of the card. This panel was attached to the inside of the card. The front panel was now attached with lots of strong adhesive, Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive is being used here. A top fold landscape card was used in this card. I laid the peacocks in the center of the card, having them look at one another. I applied glass beads to the eyes and to the top feathers. I then took glossy accents and filled the center of the glass bead over the eye. And that completes this card. And now we're on to card 10. This is an also a, a top fold landscape card. The graphite shimmer paper was cut into a strip. and the wreath was stamped on the right hand side of the front panel. I heat embossed this image with the Love From Lizzie embossing powder and this is called Emerald City. It's a wonderful embossing powder. It melts quickly and it has a nice shimmer. And I wanted to make sure that I had that completely covered. I placed stripped of pattern paper on the top and bottom of the graphite shimmer paper. I then took the various greens in the kit and cut small leaves from a die I have in my stash. I took the flower and bow embellishments that were part of the kit and attached them to the wreath stamp, the embossed image, along with the leaves. These are flower buds or rose buds and the bows come in organza and satin. I attach the leaves in such a way that they have dimension so they come up off of the stamp. I applied pearls from my stash. helping to balance the card panel. I chomped off the corners with my paper chomper, corner chomper. I attached the inside panel and the outside. And there's card 10. Thank you so much for watching.